this may seem like a normal car ride, but actually, it's filled with swinging axes, a wrecking ball, boulders, a flamethrower, invisible tracks, sentient tracks, lava, and worst of all, levers. Oh, and also sleeping puppies. After a few days of building, we put it to the test. How will the average Roblox player play this game? Will anyone actually win? Will they kill each other or help each other? We ran some ads and here's how it went. <laughs> what the heck? Where'd she just go? I The worst part about this cartwright is this lever right here. Whenever someone flips this, it sends the cartwrighter straight into lava. And a lot of these goblins realize that pretty quickly. Yahoo! There you go, finally. Wait, <laughs> no, this guy flipped the lever. This guy in particular though, he's a cold-blooded murderer. He killed people again, again, and again. <laughs> His name was Cory, but we'll call him Cory. We'll check up on him later. I'll click it for you, dude. You know how to use click. There you go. This guy right here is Goku. A few things wrong with this guy. For one, he's going way too fast. And also, he's hanging off the track. So we just kind of decided to throw everything at him. So things aren't looking too good for our friend Goku here. What do you think happens next? A. He escapes to the boulder. B. The boulder gets him. Or C. He falls off and dies. Let's see what happens. Wow, we were all wrong, huh? It was actually D. He somehow turns around, pushes off the boulder, and rides into the sunset. Yeah, I didn't expect that one, did you? Neither did I. <laughs> what? <laughs> Our friend Goku then respawns and tries again, and... Uh-oh. Cory strikes again. Goku then vanishes, never to be seen again. We lost a real one today, guys. But, for every villain, there's a hero. Before we get to that, I should probably explain this other lever. Basically, if this lever isn't flipped, then the cart runs straight into a sleeping puppy. Yeah, I'll admit, it's a little bit screwed up. And as you can probably guess, most players did not have the mental capacity to flip the lever. And after they hit the puppy, they are led directly to their death to pay for their crimes. I'm using the pictures now. I'm going to eat the pizza. I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat. <laughs> oh, he flipped it. No, his card. He's gonna, is he gonna walk. <laughs> and that's where a hero comes in. This guy's name was Traits. Tratus? Tratus. Trets. Tretas. Trets. We call him Big T. This guy was well aware of the danger the puppy was in. So he sat here and waited. Whenever someone was approaching, he flipped the lever for them. Oh, he flipped it! Which saved the puppy and the person in the cart. But after some waiting, we realized no one else was showing up. Why? Because of Cory, of course. This guy sucks. We'll come back to them in a little bit. What? What? Okay. Whoa! She made it! probably explain this too. Basically, our friend Rob Locky coded this so he can fly around and control it however we want. Thanks, Rob Locky. Country.
After getting bored of flipping levers, Cory decided to give it a try himself. And as you could probably guess, we weren't very nice to him. First, we set him on the invisible track, which if you didn't know already, it sends you right back to the beginning. No, nothing going on in that little brain of his, I guess. All he knows is flipping levers. Cory then collides with Big T, and they both somehow end up in lava. Cory then decides to try again, and he gets to the dog, and decides to run it over. Cory, how could you? <laughs> <laughs> oh wait! But trailing behind him was her friend Big T. Since the puppy wasn't there anymore, he went down the wrong track. After a bit, his cart ended up flipping, so he decided to walk instead. Big T was on quite a long journey now. And although we respected it, we knew there was nothing for him at the end. Meanwhile though, Cory comes back, we destroy him with the boulder, and he somehow lives, and then falls off, of course. Big T was still at it, and he was determined. But as he approached the end, we didn't really know what to do. This dude was super nice, we couldn't just let him walk off the edge, and that's when I got an idea. What do we do? Maybe make a giant path that leads to the pizza. And that is exactly what we did. We've gone on this wave, but for what? He does not care, dude. This guy's a legend. Come on, make the jump. Yeah, that was a little bit overdramatic, but it was cool, right? Our friend Big T has finally made it. He looked around the winner's area with a big smile on his face, and then our friend whips out a magic carpet, and he can't figure out how to use it because he's on mobile. But Corey's also on the way to winners. Never mind. Wait, what? What is he doing? Why would he do such a thing? All right, maybe he is. With Cory arriving to winners, our hero and our villain are now there. With the rocket launcher at their disposal, a fight could break out at any moment. But nothing happened. They just kind of looked at each other. We didn't know this at the time of the recording, but Cory and Big T were actually friends. They could have met at the cart ride, but who really knows? Either way, it's a friendship I can respect. With his newfound power, Cory flew away to wreak havoc on the cart riders below. Big T was struggling to figure out how to fly, and there was no sign of Cory stopping. So, I decided to take things into my own hands. Fine. I'll do it myself. I sent Cory back to the beginning, and he left, along with Big T. Maybe they were close friends. Either way, it was bittersweet. I felt like I had interfered in some sort of ecosystem. Nah, actually, screw that guy. He killed like 15 people. I don't feel bad at all. I'd save the people of this cart ride. I killed an apex predator, and now they can thrive. Nah, I'm kidding. It gets way more chaotic from here. Let's go! I'm gonna trip him, dude. This guy's so screwed up. Whoa. What? We better watch yourself, buddy. Oh, he's doing it again, dude. I, I gotta trip him. <laughs> deserved that. He deserved that 100%. Who wanted these trips with me? Oh.
Okay, little skinny baby. What? Stop, brat. Done, brat. Stop. 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 I'm not doing it. This guy's stealing snacks from the bag. Jimmy, dude. He just took all the snacks from the vending machine, dude. Jimmy, stop. You guys only get Mountain Dew and Sprite now. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> Can you please get off? I'm gonna should be sorry. What the heck, dude? You better be. Can you please stop that? <laughs> this fellow was an absolute madman. Every time he hopped in a cart, he would spam the speed up button as much as he possibly could. And then he would fly off the edge. Every single time. Stopping in front of him because they're too laggy. <laughs> Ayuda. Young Suhan ugly. What? Who are you calling ugly? Oh, probably this guy. <laughs> this dude was like the opposite of Big T. He tried to get people to go on the wrong path, but it didn't really work out too well. What does this mean? Huh? <laughs> After falling off the edge about 50 times, this guy got hit by a rocket. And this was his breaking point. Not the 50 times he fell off the edge, but the rocket hitting him. And he left. Sally. And that concludes our little car ride adventures. If you want to play this game for yourself, I linked it in the description. Although it's a little modified, it's pretty close to what it is. So what do we learn from all this? Um, don't trust anybody with levers. Unless it's this guy. And also, don't try to rush through life. There are no shortcuts. And we all need to learn to go at our own pace sometimes.